everyone, this is Marceline at CashewGreens.com. I have another interesting episode that I'm going to share with you. We are now in the fall season and it's best time to propagate a lot of cuttings. So today I'm going to show you how to set up a fagger system for the cloning machine so you can apply these methods for all your plants propagation. But before we continue this video, one more thing. Okay y'all, I just want to know how come you haven't subscribed yet. I got a, over 30 day gum videos out there. And I ain't getting enough subscriptions. How come y'all haven't subscribed yet? Well, what's the purpose of all subscribing? Because when you subscribe, you help out my channel. And also, YouTube likes to send out more videos to everybody else as a recommended video. So, what do you think about that, Mom? Yo. Subscribe, yo. That was pitiful, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> this is Fog Panic, one of the best cloning machine I have used in my greenhouse to propagate a lot of cuttings. So let's check one of the cuttings here to show you guys the result. This is Chrysler, one of the most beautiful red rose I grew in my garden. As you can see, it's already rooted. This is ready for planting. So today I'm going to show you how to assemble or set up the fogger system so you can apply the methods for all your plant propagation. We're going to do an experiment on this video as you can see here. This is an experiment container. We're going to put this our control group. In our control group, we're going to add chemicals in the water and some other accessories to expedite our rooting. It is not recommended to add chemicals in the water because chemicals clog the machine but this is an experiment it is good thing to know what could go wrong during the process of propagation we're going to experiment three plants in this project some plants propagate faster while others takes longer for for example the bay laurel bay laurel takes longer to root so it takes like two to three three months to root the cuttings but we're going to put this in our control group so the plants that we're going to propagate is roses citrus and bay laurel there are other things that we're going to look forward with this experiment the number of cuttings that are rotting and also the time frame when is the time the cuttings start to root and also the kind of propagator which propagators give us the higher percentage rate of success the propagator with water no chemicals in it or the propagator that has chemical added to the water so let's we can find this out in our experiment and i'm going to follow up with you guys the result so let's get started join me to the table so we can assemble our system we're going to need a fogger system for the cloning machine to propagate our cuttings a fog system looks like this i just take this out from the box to save time now you need two machines working together in its tub if you only have one system it is not enough for the fog to distribute to all your cuttings you also need a floating device. The floating device allows the fogger to float to the top surface and it is easy for the fog to reach the cuttings. If you don't have this floating device, if you just put this on the bottom, it takes a while for the fog to reach to the top. You might have to fill the tub with water more often. And also make sure that this system is in working condition. Okay, I'm going to uh, show you how to assemble your machine there's a guideline that you can follow i just want to uh, show you a little bit here so this is the cord now in the cord there is okay now what you need is just unhook this cord separate them together all right now in the floating device there is a big hole in that hole you're going to insert the cord on that hole thread them down okay And then you just place this like that. You can adjust the depth of your fogger. Then after you 
put this inside the floater you need to put it back hook it back and then plug this in on this video we're going to do an experiment we have two machines here the second machine is the control group in the control group we are going to add chemicals into the water and other accessories to expedite the working process it is not recommended to add chemicals into the water because of one reason chemicals clog the machine but this is an experiment everything we do here has to be recorded if we made an error during the process we have to write down so we can gather those data for future reference before you start the propagation make sure the system is clean and sterile use vinegar to disinfect the whole system after you clean the machine fill the tub with water all the way to the top past the midline six inches above the fogger system it is recommended by the product to use tap water instead of using the purified or distilled water because the automizer only works best with tap water now we know that the water has chlorine in it you don't want the chlorine in the system so to remove the chlorine in the system set your water in the tub 24 hours this will help the chlorine to evaporate all right guys this is going to be an exciting experiment in the greenhouse we already tested the fogger system it's working and we're way to go now this is going to be a long video guys i just want you to stay with me till to the end because there's so many important materials that we're going to learn and discover i'm learning this experiment and i want you guys to learn along with me so what i'm going to do here i'm going to write the materials of the procedures on the screen with a little bit of description so you can follow me along the way i will also explain the the information of the purpose of these materials why we need these materials in the cloning machine just kind of guide you through now another thing that i'm going to share with you guys in this video i am the biggest fan of clonix just to let you know in advance i use 100 percent of clonix in all of my propagation the reason for that i get this a tremendous high quality of brooding my cuttings just using the clonix so we're going to use the clonix clone liquid solution in this machine the clonix helps the cuttings to start rooting and also once the cuttings start develop these roots the clonix contains nutrients to give those newly developed roots to become so that the roots can become healthier and stronger and ready for transplant now another thing that we're going to use in the cloning machine is the water heater and some of you probably already know about the water heater the water heater is used to keep the water temperature in a perfect range the temperature should be 70 to 75 degrees fahrenheit above the 75 range is not recommended because you are going to cook the the cuttings i use a lot of water heater here in my greenhouse because i have this tiny baby tilapia and i need the i need to keep the water warm I, I also grow koi now again the water heater is in that machine another thing that we're using in this in this project is the airstone now the airstone creates a hundred tiny bubbles of water those tiny bubbles a water contains oxygen so they're releasing oxygen when you're cutting you need an oxygen in the water when the cuttings start to root this massive root system needs oxygen so the roots can take up good oxygen through those bubbles now the things another things that i'm going to share with you guys here is the ph rod now this is the ph rods before you start propagating make sure that you test your water the ph of your water before and after you add the chemicals okay i'm going to show you the ph test for those of you who haven't used this device so this is the ph to check your ph in the water now here in the point there is a switch if you want to turn it on you just Post the switch and it turns it on now here this is the cover to protect the rod you just take take it out and now you can use this now 
and then what I'm doing here I don't want to put it, it is for me it is not necessary that I have to put this rod and wait in there so it makes it easier if I will take water and put in the bottle or glass then keep in mind that once you use this don't put this back because you want those water sterile so throw this away when you're done so you insert when you put this in the water you don't need to be all the way to the top you just put in the available above this area to test your pH now we're going to use this one here we are going to find out how much what is the pH of this water before we add the clonics Okay, this is a complete setup of the fog panic system. We propagated the laurel, citrus, and roses. We labeled the plants, name, and date. Now, there are three things we are looking forward with this experiment. Number one, how many number of cuttings are actually rooted? Number two, when is the time the cuttings start to root? Number three, which of this machine will give us the higher percentage rate in rooting these cuttings? Now, the first machine, we only use tap water with no chemicals added to the water. The second machine, we had the Clonex. Okay, this is the end of our video for today. Let's go over the materials very quickly. So in our experiment, we added Clonex clone solution into the water. I put two packets of this in the water. So if you're doing propagation using the Clonex, I would recommend you guys to just get the bottle because you go through a lot of this. Now the purpose of the clonix is to aid the cuttings to initiate the rooting. Then once the cuttings start to develop new roots, the nutrients of the clonix will boost those young roots until they become stronger and ready for planting. Now we also check the pH of the water before and after the chemical is added. Now when I checked the pH, it was like too high. It was 6.9. So it was high of the pH. So in order for me to down the pH, I had to use the pH down. So I put few drops until I get the desired. So I finally get the desired rinse. The perfect rinse of uh, pH in the water for propagation should be in between 5.5 to 6.5. Now I have another thing to share with you guys. The the test uh, when you test the water, I use this one here, the digital pH. It comes with the box. This is so cool of a device. Now, you, it is necessary to calibrate it, this pH meter for accurate reading because over time it would not give you the right measure. So you have this scroll. I already calibrated this so I'm not going to calibrate I just want to show you guys. With this scroll, there is a hole. You just poke that hole and keep adjusting until you get the, the reading. Now, this one here, there is a switch. You just push this switch so turn it on. Push it, turn it on. And then here, this one here is the cover, it's the probe. Now you just take that out to expose the electrode. Then you just insert it with water and then you get your reading. So another thing that I'm going to also add on this information here. In the in the cutting, you use the CG. This is CG. Two inches. Uh, two inch cup don't use this small because it is it doesn't fit with the hole so the hole of the you know my pruning machine is two inch so I have to get the two inch cup now in order for the cuttings to uh, get the fog you need to cut the bottom I just cut the bottom use use the scissor to just cut the you know the bottom of the basket because you want that cuttings to expose into into the fog because if you just use use the hair there is no that's not enough for the fog to get into the cuttings so you just cut it and then after that you use the styrofoam insert you just put it in here and then you put your plants like what you see here I'm going to show you just like that and then you label your cutting okay so I hope this video would help you guys and if you like this video please consider to subscribe and share with all your friends so see you next week bye bye